Hey that fools, Big T and I'm back again with another video. Finally back after our little Thanksgiving weekend vacation, short vacation if you will. I uh, hope you guys all had a good holiday, uh, grubbing and whatnot. Uh, the belt buckles, uh, the pants uh, got a little tighter <laughs> over these last few days, but uh, we'll work that off, no problem. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty cool. I hope you, like I said, I hope you guys had a good holiday. Um, apparently, Nintendo had a good holiday. Uh, turns out that I don't know if they're number one yet. I don't know if the the official numbers aren't in yet. Doesn't really matter if they're number one or not. Oh, I see some people like, you know, losing their minds and. <laughs> what not about them being number one um, I always thought it was strange people think oh if you're in third place then you failed um, that's true in like a race <laughs> but uh, not true if you're selling something so quickly let's just say uh, let's just say switch did come in last uh, let's say it came in behind the Xbox one Xbox one X and the PlayStation 4 so let's say the PlayStation 4 you know, let's say hypothetically, sold, I don't know, 700,000 units, right? And then the Xbox One X sold, or Xbox One X and Xbox, let's put them together. Uh, uh, same thing for PlayStation, you can put the PS4 Pro together, although nobody really talks about that thing anymore. It sells, but nobody uh, doesn't sell that great. Um, and the Xbox One is probably headed for the same fate. But let's say, you know, because it's new, it did really well. Let's say it sold, the, let's say the Xbox One family sold, I don't know, 680,000, right? So it puts them in second place. And let's say the Switch sold 630,000 uh, for Black Friday. Do you think that's bad? <laughs> because I don't. I mean, I think that's really great, especially... Uh, because this didn't get a discount. There's no discounts for this little device, and uh, it still sold pretty well. But um, on my hypothetical, but you know, on the um, not quite official numbers, are saying it sold the best. And I mean, I, I don't. I'm not really surprised by that because it was already selling great, and. It wasn't that people like, oh, I gotta get a switch. It's just like when things, it's something is selling really well, and then you give a holiday as an incentive for people to go out and buy stuff. It's gonna sell better. <laughs> like that's just, you know, that's just normal. So, um, I don't, I don't, you know, I think it's great, but I don't see it as a surprise if it did hit number one because um, it's a really hot selling system. It's, I think there's just so much denial. Uh, and a certain portion of the gaming community, there's so much denial about the Switch that it, they just can't take this kind of stuff, or it, this kind of news bothers them, or it's just no way it's possible. They're they're waiting on the failure of Switch um, based on the failure, commercial failure of one Nintendo console, being the Wii U. Um, I just I don't understand it. But anyway. Enough about the, the sales stuff. Um, uh, so we, I talked about um, that. So let's go ahead and get into kind of what the main topic of this video is. And that is uh, the Switch is missing something or missing things that, you know, some people want that I just don't really care about. <laughs> and uh, one of those things is virtual console. Oh man, Switch needs virtual console. Gotta get virtual console. Cause uh, apparently there's a contingency of Nintendo fans who want to give Nintendo money again for, you know, uh, you know 30 year old games that they already own. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with, I'm just messing around. There's nothing wrong with wanting Especially for this device because it's so cool. There's nothing wrong with wanting uh, Nintendo's legacy on this device and the fact that it's portable. Um, uh, I would totally love that. Um, I don't need it, but you know, I'd love it. But I, th I don't need it, like I said, because I'm more focused on, especially with the Switch, the new games, like the indie titles, especially. Like those take up, those fill up my kind of old school. Uh, uh, need my, my old school thirst 
if you will. Um, but you know, so so I don't really need to have those titles. And, you know, like I said, I bought them on Wii. Um, I subsequently bought them again on Wii U. Not all of them because you know some you just had to pay like a dollar because of the uh, the Miiverse, uh, I guess, um, additions that were added to each game, so it cost a little bit more. So they, Nintendo charges like a dollar or something, a dollar fifty to transfer games that you already bought on Wii, so you didn't have to pay the, the full price. Uh, so that was cool, but um, unless they can bring my stuff over <laughs> from Wii U, I'm in no hurry to buy that stuff again. And uh, I really just don't don't really care about that um, so while like I said it would be cool I don't really care that much about it as I, I don't really have a need for it I, there's a lot of new games to play and a lot of really cool indie titles that are out and that are still coming and uh, the other thing that the you know apparently the switch needs that I don't care about that you know some fans again care about which this one I don't understand um, for some people maybe a small majority or that's not the right word small majority uh a loud minority of people or for some people they would like these things to come to the switch um and that is like the media apps like hulu netflix you know all that stuff um i don't really need that at all and i'm just really surprised that people even care about that stuff like because there are so many mo better options, <laughs> uh, even like portably in this size, to uh, have that stuff. And uh, you know, I pull out one of my favorite options. If I can reach it, yeah, let's grab it here. And this this bad boy. Yeah, my uh, you know. Yeah, uh, looks like my daughter's downloading her crap on here. But anyway, um, I have, you know, f what, three, four of these in my home? Uh, iPad, you know, my, my kids both have, they actually have my old ones and my wife's old one, they keep those and we have new ones, so, um... I don't need this to play Netflix or Hulu, and it's really t um, not a good way, I would say, uh, because first of all, the screen uh, uh, the screen aspect ratio isn't that great. Um, well, not, it's not bad. It's 720p, which is still pretty good, especially on a small screen. Um, but um, there are better options with better screens better viewing um, usually apps run better on uh, devices that they were made for uh, which is you know uh, tablets and uh, smartphones stuff like that They're, they run better on those and main well I guess there's two main reasons one the battery life the battery life on the switch isn't that great um, you get what roughly four hours maybe uh, between three and a half and four hours on some of the bigger titles some of the newer titles and you get more than that on the you know the indie and the small titles but you know for video movie viewing not that great I'm, I'm guessing for uh, for movies and stuff like that you're not gonna be able to watch it that much you're gonna have to go charge it um, actually the smart thing to do be to do is to take these joy cons off because the joy cons actually pull power from the the switches so so you're basically gonna i would you know think to have this because i'm guessing a touch screen would work pretty well uh just like any any tablet um and this isn't as comfortable to hold and but it's a smarter way to do it because like i said you're saving battery what you, you're gonna need to do. But I, the main thing to me is just like, I don't wanna put that kind of extra wear on my Switch. Like I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna have way more time playing the system um, uh, for the games than I would for, uh, you know, applications. It's like, I'm gonna put, you know, two 
to whatever many hours playing video games and then I'm gonna keep this little thing on for another for a binge watch of a my favorite Netflix show that's not what I want to do to this device it's you know it's it's a solid little device but I don't want to put that extra wear on my switch um, I want to save its abilities for gaming and it's just not a viable way to watch um, you know movies this is like I have like I said we have the four tablets we have one, two, three smart TVs that all have these applications on them. Um, I mean, I can just turn my TV on and watch it that way. And obviously, if I can't, if I don't feel like sitting up or whatever, uh, watching it, I can always sit back and watch it with using my my smartphone, my uh, iPod, my my iPad, or uh, you know, my smart TV. So it just it just doesn't. Seem like a viable reason. So those are the reasons I don't uh, really care for these products to have, or I don't care for the Switch, I should say, to have these products, these applications, because these are all the applications I really care about right here. You know, um, I want to play these more than I want to play Netflix or Hulu. My Wii U plays those applications. My Xbox One. <laughs> I didn't even mention that. My other consoles. I, that's still hooked. Uh, uh, I still have my PS3 hooked up. Uh, my Xbox 360 uh, is still hooked up um, on this TV right here. And uh, so I have way too many ways to play it. And I know everybody doesn't have that, but I would think that you have other ways to uh, watch Netflix, Hulu, all these other media apps. Um, and, you know, when I watch Netflix or Hulu, I'd rather watch them on the big TV, on my big TV. Um, but you know, if I can't, you know, if I just want to curl up on the couch or whatever, I can always use my iPad, my iPhone or whatever. So yeah, those are the reasons I don't really care for the multimedia apps and the switch. Uh, but I would like them to get on that online infrastructure. I know that's coming as soon as, uh, they work it out and get the paid stuff. Uh, again, I'm in no hurry to pay, but <laughs> it, it'd be nice to have a more cohesive, uh, uh, better online setup um, uh, that's, uh, you know, full weight behind it. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys agree, disagree. You want all the apps on the planet to be on your Switch. As you can see, I don't have, you know, Hulu is out and I don't have it installed. There's no... I have way too many ways to watch Hulu and Netflix um, and a lot of the other apps, you know, the sports apps and WWE and all that stuff. I have way better options for me anyway. So I'd rather just play games on this and preserve its life <laughs> uh, in video games. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I said, thank you again for watching and listening. Hope you had a great turkey day and I'll see you folks next time. Peace out.